you know, future Hall of Famer who said anything yesterday? I'm bearing the lead. Let's just I, play this sound. I feel like we got to get into it. Let's just play this sound. For those of you who may or may not know, Draymond Green uh, had an altercation with Jordan Poole last year. That may or may not have cast a dark that? cloud over uh, the season. Altercation sensation? It was an altercation situation sensation. Uh, Draymond Green punched Jordan Poole in the face. We've been talking about it ad nauseum because it's been the biggest story, let's be honest, in the Bay Area this past season. Well, he's going on with, or he's been on the pod with Pat Beverly. Pat Bev, who apparently, I thought they were enemies. Apparently, they're best friends, and it's, it just makes sense because they're very similar, I feel like, on the court and off the of it. The next five pods are ours. <laughs> that's, that's a four. I like that. But here's a little snippet, and it got leaked yesterday, and I guess the pod's dropping the full pod with Draymond Green with Pat Bev. It's the whole thing's dropping at 10 o'clock today, maybe West Coast, East Coast. I'm not sure. We'll get the sound and play it for you here on 95.7 The Game whenever we do get it. But this was the snippet being leaked around social yesterday. And here's Draymond Green talking about the punch again on Pat Bed Pod. I don't just hit people. Dialogue, of course, happens over time. And you, you usually ain't just triggered by something like that fast, you know, All right. to that degree. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a team. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody on my team triggering me, you know, in, a, in an instant. You know, we know stuff that you don't say amongst men. You know what I'm saying? We, we you know, we know, you know, things that you have to stand on. I just, I thought we were past this. I, th- I, I see from the YouTube and Twitch streams when we are live and, uh, live and streaming on Twitch and YouTube, they're tired of it. Hey, we're tired of it, but when the guy keeps bringing it up, we got to talk about it. And why is he bringing it up again, Joe? Why? Like, the more he keeps talking about it, and the less that Jordan Poole, can, and Jordan Poole hasn't spoken a word on it. He keeps pivoting. He's doing everything right. The PR department's probably loving him. He's, he's moved on. Why can't Draymond Green move on too? They got rid of Jordan Poole. What else is there? Why is he talking about this? I, I don't I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. And and you know And ty- real quick, Tyler Miller's like he was asked about it. That's when you say, you know what, I'm not gonna it, it, he's it's gone. In the past, it's in the past. Know. We're moving on. That's what you say in those situations. So th- there's so many things. Like there's so many things that I was thinking when I saw this. I couldn't believe it, number one. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, what how how is Jordan Poole? been more mature like again we don't know what led up to it draymond can say whatever he wants i who knows it's never one thing it's probably a buildup of things whether it's one guy both guys you know who, who knows right they're gonna obviously have their own prerogatives on it but like jordan Poole has shown more maturity in terms of how to deal with it moving forward which is surprising to me it really is like all the things that draymond's been through you think he would understand just let it go you know and, cool. and like the, it's ir- it's ironic, and not to cut you off here, Joe. That the the guy who's shown the most maturity in all this is the guy that we ripped for being immature all season in Jordan Poole. Well, both can be true. But two things can yeah. be equally true. Yeah. But also, this in this situation, when grown ups need yeah. to be grown ups, he's been the most mature about it. But but here's what I like. I, I I would I would hope someone in Draymond's camp would say this to him: You won. Yeah. You you've, got what you you've wanted. Won. The guy's off the team. Okay. You, the guy's off the team. You won. You got the extension. You're with the team. That guy's gone. Okay, you you want to clear up the PR mess? What I've learned is that people are going to assume whatever they assume, and the more you talk about something, whether it's uh, negative or whatever, you're only going to alienate more. Yeah. Just let it go and move on. Now, it's easy for me to say that, um, but I've been through this before in many facets of my life, and I just don't understand. Draymond thinks he's going to win the the war of perception. Yeah. And I would say to him, he's doing more harm than he is helping his case at this point. Absolutely. Let it go like Elsa. Come on. The cold never bothered me anyways. Am I right? Nicole Diaz on the YouTube chat. So everyone can keep talking about it. But when Draymond talks about it, it's a problem. The thing is, Nicole, we kind of stopped talking about it. Like the last couple of weeks, I haven't heard any like, have you... We haven't talked about it on this show. I'm kind of ready to move on from it. I'm I just sick and tired of hearing about it at this point. It's just like, we get it, Draymond. You punched Jordan Poole. You derailed the season. Like, I don't need to hear it anymore. Well, there was fatigue by it, and we were moving on until he brought it back up into the news cycle. Like, that's the thing. I feel like we as a station, too, and people, I haven't seen it in social or anything. Like, after the summer league, we asked Jordan Poole about it, the pressers, all that sort of stuff. I think everyone was ready to move on from it. Until he did this Pat Bev pod. And I cannot wait for the soundbites. By the way, I cannot wait 
for the PR spin, the sound bites for this later. It's going to be, as he would say, incredible. Quite frankly, he's addicted to talking and like bringing this thing up, and that's that's on him, man. He needs to he needs to move on. Like he, and I think we're trying to move on. Here's the thing: people are like, "You guys have been talking about it." Yeah, they traded away Jordan Poole. Why do you think they did that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a variety of reasons, and one of them is what happened with Draymond Green. And yes, it, it did dominate a lot of our station for a long time because it was the biggest story of the season, and they said it themselves. As soon as they lost to the Lakers in Game Six, it was what was the term? There was a dark cloud because of that situation. They try to poo-poo it all season long, like, oh, we've moved on. That's not the reason. Until it actually was the reason they were and lying the whole time and through their teeth. The irony of Draymond saying there are certain things you don't say to someone, it, it's right out of the LeBron script. When LeBron... <laughs> no, am I, why are you laughing? No, it's just true. It's right out of the LeBron script. He, I'm a family man, and he called me a word that you can't call a family man. I'm just like, look... I, Jordan Poole is not some uh, victim here. I think they're both culpable. That's the thing I think that is missed in the whole thing. Now, did, did Draymond, you know, did he rightfully punch someone? Did Jordan deserve it? Did he have it coming? That's not even what I'm here for. You know what I'm here for? I'm here for, dude, you're 33 years old. You've been a millionaire, and you have been a one percenter for over 12 years of your life. You made more in one year of your rookie year than the average income of America over a five-year period, okay? Show some maturity, evolve, and understand this isn't the streets, okay? Yeah. Now, are there things that happen where I could say, you know what? Certain things happen, and there's a time and a place for everything. Someone disrespects your wife, and out of a last resort, you have to do something uh, physically. Yeah, it's not the greatest thing in the world. I can understand. In this particular setting, the more that you're talking, the worse you're making yourself look. And I actually think the way that Jordan Poole, and who knows, Jordan Poole could have been so reckless and said some crazy things. I don't know. And I, I feel reckless even saying that as a speculation. Draymond, let it go. You've won the war. You got the extension. You're on the team. The guy is gone. 888.